So it's welcome back to me, Joff, at Mo Hotel Adventures YouTube channel. And uh, so anybody that watches uh, our channel, um, which I know a lot of you do, I guess we're getting a lot more comments, guys, and I appreciate the comments uh, regarding my cover. Uh, a great comment was a putting on this screw extension flexi to check the pressure, which was a pretty, uh, pretty good idea. Um, someone just commented earlier on about uh, maybe watching it doesn't actually fill up, fill up the water. Might have just put a little tiny incision in the bottom. We'll uh, watch this space on that one. Um, probably uh, going through intense rain, it'll, it will probably get up around there somehow. So another uh, nice little comment, which I appreciated. Um, this week, uh, as you probably, uh, I probably mentioned, I've actually do, been doing my driver CPC training, and um, well, three blocks of it anyway this week. So we, the other day, we were just doing a little bit of a refresh on the highway code. And uh, to be honest, when you start having a little look at the road signs again, we're talking about like the English one. So anyway, um, it was good. It's just great, great refreshment, basic information back, them, them uh, signs um, going through, just quizzing yourself a little bit on some of them. But um, anyway, our uh, instructor, the, the guy that was actually instructing us was uh, hung, uh, originally from Hungary and I was kind of like saying, hey, hey mate, have you, have you actually um, got like, well you, you're bound to have something like this in like Hungary, yeah? And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, of course, you know, and it's all uh, all over um, Europe in different, uh, obviously German in Europe. And so I had a little rake around on the internet and that's the reason I put out the video last night of um, some of the regulations. I've got a few more actually. I'm going to have another little look and um, see what other ones I can sandwich in but occasionally it's just nice to uh, there's probably a lot of videos out there on YouTube concerning this, but um, it, it, uh, hopefully it might have just brought your attention to some of them road signs that you're maybe not too familiar with if you're going over in foreign parts. So um, it was it was really good for me to be honest. It it sort of gets you rechecking the road signs a little bit. Um, you kind of get a little bit, sometimes I get a little bit tunnel vision where you know, you're taking in the scene or you're taking in lots of stuff and uh, some of these signs you're um, sort of like taking for granted a little bit. So um, it's started uh, actually, and I think you do get a little bit complacent even in England when you're doing the sem similar kind of routes. And uh, so you're not actually reading them signs, but uh, I I've been sort of... Uh, refreshed on reading road signs anyway but um which is all good so uh, I'll, I'll make make a comment on that what do you think and um is it a, a really good thing to start um paying attention again to road signs especially the speeding ones um now we're we're pretty we're pretty good do you, you know us but so anyway today's course for me was uh the first aid it was the first aid course today so it sort of almost prompted me to come back tonight and talk about uh, a little bit of first aid. So, so I'm just going to literally grab my phone in a minute. I was making a couple of notes um, on some of the topics that kind of like were more a Applied to me, you know me. I don't like blood. Remember Shepta Mallet when I uh, and the guy who was actually wanting to do some um, bandage things today, and I'm kind of like, look, mate, I've had it in real life. I don't really, um, you know, we, we've we've actually got to that position where we've uh, experienced, um, yeah, bandages on hands and fingers and all the rest of it. But anyway, um, yeah. So it prompted me a little bit just to come back and uh, check what I. I have in my first aid box because uh, my memory bank cells up here are, are kind of like getting to that age where um, you sort of need to be refreshed you need to be refreshed so I was right tonight I'm gonna get my box out my first aid kit and uh, open the box and just have a little in fact there we go look the first one I pick out is a, um, a sling and we were talking about like he was actually talking about making a makeshift sling 
improvisation on uh, tourniquet keys to stop bleeding, stuff like that. So there's the first one. We've got some bandages. Um, this, oh, by the way, this is a uh, van and truck kit. So, um, and uh, again, look, eye washes. You know, when you get that sort of like, get in a dusty position, you maybe go to like somewhere like Morocco where there's loads of dust. And, um, you know, you just got to keep saying to yourself, yeah, they've got eye washes in my first aid kit. You know, and if you need to use them, crack on and use them. And, um, you, you know what I mean? It, it just makes sense. Another arm bandage, two broken arms. Oh my goodness me. I hope not. Um, an elbow bandage. Um, um, elbow support maybe, sterilized um, dressing. Uh, oh, just a, maybe like a bandage. Um, so that's in there. We have uh, a selection of like plasters, general plasters, always a good thing. Cut your finger, quick. Um, and like the guy was saying today, it's not only to, just a sort of like, um, it's keeping it clean, keeping it clean. Um, my, I'm quite resilient, me being uh, in the um, mechanic game, oil, petrol, um, but also in here we have four sterilized gloves. Um, I do keep in my door pocket, I, I was going to actually mention this today, but I didn't get around to it. But in my door pocket, if you go into any garage and uh, they have them big like glove, um, plastic glove dispensers. And uh, I sort of occasionally might take out about 20 um, and then get maybe another 20. Just, just get a bit of a set. It's always handy um, for obviously doing your toilet cassette, dropping off grey water, any of them little sort of mediocre jobs that you don't really want to get your hands dirty. The other big thing with me, obviously, is putting in the diesel. So um, it's always nice to have, you know, if, if, if a garage hasn't got any gloves, uh, I've got the gloves, I get them on because one of my pet hates is getting diesel in my on my hand and then getting into my motorhome and that smell of diesel on your steering wheel hate it so uh, priority to for me is actually to um keep keep my hands as clean as I, I, I possibly can we have actually got um which i didn't get around to using it shepton mallet a couple of uh, finger um covers so once you've put your dressing on you can put these uh, little plastic um covers on to obviously keep it dry keep it uh keep it clean um, another plaster another plaster there looks like we've got plenty of plasters alcohol wipes alcohol oh alcohol free wipes um so we've got a load of them alcohol free wipes and um got a little booklet in there actually uh chemical burns fractures there's a little actual booklet in there um i'll come back to some information a little pair of scissors and uh some um, safety pins for the bandage so a good little like refresh for me to um, see what's in the kit and um yeah, I, th I just think it's, like I say, I, I just occasionally you get a little bit like, you know, um, ah, it's in the kit. I, I'm actually like that. So I'm just going to tuck it all back in, um, put my eye washes in there. Anything else that I need to have in there, really? I don't think so. I think everything's covered for basic um, first aid there like on the move so great little kit I expect available on Amazon um, I have to have a little look on that one so that's my first aid and that actually is going to go underneath my um, driver's seat so it's uh, super accessible and um, easy to get to uh, you never know when you might need it um, Okay, my little notes. What? Oh, so the first one was obviously uh, knowing the emergency phone numbers. So um, obviously 999 uh, and uh, throughout like Europe, but it's always good to make sure um, that wh wherever like country you're in, to make sure you, you can get, you know, you, you're, you're on the ball with the number, you're not struggling for a number. Um, the other one, what I'm going to just mention now, actually, while we're on the subject of the phone, the emergency phone number, is another thing that I um, we were talking about today was what about the language barrier? And um, 
the, 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 the instructor uh, assured me that, and we're obviously going to get it in the UK as well. We've got a lot of uh, like foreign people, if they get in trouble over here where they're, uh, they need for it. So they've got um, uh, language translation uh, on the telephone. And because um, you, you, when you, you know what it's like trying to talk to people on a telephone when they don't speak the same language as you, it can be a bit tricky. So um, he assured me that they have, um, if they don't understand you, uh, um, although another thing he said to me is the fact that most people in Romania, Hungary, um, all them kind of uh, them kind of like countries uh, are getting really up to date on the English. They want that is the language they want to learn, and um, which is a really good thing. So the next little thing I'm going to come to is uh, he showed us a. Uh, a picture for information of the St. John's Ambulance website. And I have actually just had a little um, look at it and uh, it's given, I'll uh, put in some screenshots of basic um, administration of like first aid. We, we've been um, st st you know the score, stemming, stemming the uh, flow of bleeding, um, burns, how to deal with burns, you, you burn yourself um, straight under the cold water, jump into the swimming pool, uh, where, whatever situation you're in. Um, uh, yeah, so the website on here, um, and it actually shows you how to administer CPR on, uh, on people. Uh, we've actually um, been looking today at uh, administering on adults and um, children and even young, very young children, as in babies, uh, administrating um, uh, CPR. So there's, there's loads of information on there. I, I, th I thought that, it's kind of like one of those things where it's great to go for like a refreshment. Um, yeah, Casey, you definitely need to. You, it, it, like I say, this is not an intense um, first aid course. It's just a lot of the basics and um, just re total refreshment. And because uh, you never know when you might like need it and like dealing with situations. Um, we're pretty like, I'm pretty like hands on. And you want to, if you come on, um, in that situation where someone has got a problem, I want to be the first one to uh, try and help them out, especially um, if there's like an injury, uh, like the guys sorted me out <laughs> in Shepton Mallet, um, which, um, yeah, sometimes you, you, sometimes you maybe have to just to deal with a situation if you're the only one there, um, and uh, until the professionals, like I say, I'm only uh, scratching the surface in that department, it's not my genre, but... Um, Spare wheels on motor homes, absolutely a breeze. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I think I'm gonna like leave this video there. Uh, just a quick little um, little video of just how things are. You know, like I say, I, I just think it's a great thing just for the refreshment. And um, like you say, if it came to that situation and uh, you'd have a, like a rough idea of what to uh, administer uh, to make it um, the best thing for whoever's got injured. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I will just tag on a picture of my latest logo. It's going to be the Blast to the Baltics and um, the Baltics being um, sort of Croatia. So uh, it, it's underway guys, it's underway. We still haven't like made a booking on the ferry yet, um, but um, it's going to be maybe about an, uh, the end of August into September and it's going to be the Blast to the Baltics and uh, we got an amazing road trip scheduled out again. It's um, Joffy puts these road trips together, but um, kind of destination a little bit of uh, Korkula in Croatia, uh, an island that we've not been before and want to kind of explore. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, I'll tag in a picture of the sticker and uh, so I'm get, getting things sorted out, getting some stickers done and uh, maybe we'll get some coasters and all the rest of it sorted out as well pretty pronto. But uh, it was kind of like um, get the logo done and um, it's all good. So I'm pretty happy with the logo where it came out. A uh, little bit of work the other night and uh, happy days. Uh, I think the other thing that uh, Caroline mentioned to me was uh, if anybody can re recommend 
she oh, i haven't had a real detailed look at it yet these little um things that you hang up for mosquitoes there's a lot of people getting like pestered by mosquitoes and stuff and and occasionally there's some of the places we get to we get um we always tend to sort of like discover mosquitoes somewhere along the lines on a road trip um so uh, anybody got any recommendations on um i think caroline's got this i i don't occasionally have a bit of a blip um but i'm not caroline's a little bit more vulnerable to the mosquito and um, occasionally you know what it's like it's oh my god I've got like 10 down my leg you know so um, any recommendations on mosquitoes fully welcome to uh, drop us a comment and uh, I'll keep you posted on that one I think I'm gonna have to look and see what this um, little bit more detail when I've got time when's that gonna be <laughs> she's gonna dunk get going with it get well I can't uh, be eaten alive but it's them kind of scenarios I, I, I do say to people that travel and uh, anybody that's um, had this situation you'll know exactly what I'm talking about you see amazing pictures of beautiful um, lakes and ponds and down by the ocean and stuff like that until half past eight nine o'clock when the sun goes down and then it turns in <laughs> to a different place they just go ah, and uh, try and devour you so I think I'm gonna um, that's all I can actually th I've done my notes done the first aid kit and um, hope it's maybe prompted you um anything else we need to carry because it's all top quality entertainment and uh, information that's what i meant to say not well, it's good entertainment for you watching me but um babbling on but um it's the information and uh, like i say it's all them precautions hopefully you're never ever going to need it but like i say you never know when it happens so i'm going to leave the video there guys thanks for watching the video and uh we'll catch you soon goodbye for now